y'all. Let's head back Crafting Hope. And we're going to jump into this right away by saying that one of the prompts is Art Crayon. And I have to show y'all that, yeah, I have a good selection of art crayons to choose from. So I knew I was going to use that Mixed Media iCAD prompt from Nina Fickett. But the Daisy Yellow prompt today is Mix and Match. And that just wasn't speaking to me. So, um... I'm trying not to overthink these things and force them, and I just want to play. So that's what I'm going to do. If you don't know what ICAD is, it stands for Index Card a Day, and it is the brainchild of Daisy Yellow or Tammy Garcia, who is Gypsy999 on Instagram. She has weekly themes and daily prompts if you want to use them. And like I said, I am not using her prompt today. But my friend Nina Fickett also has some fun mixed media ICAD prompts that she has over on her Instagram and those are lots of fun and actually this little piece of um what is that it's a like a tea bag is from Nina she sent that one of those to me but she has some fun ones like I said today it is art crayon and I knew I wanted to add a bunch of texture to this card for my iCADs this year, I am trying to work through and limit myself to a couple of scrap boxes, at least for my collage bases, and not create more scraps. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find some different things with some fun textures, because I kind of knew I wanted to pick up texture with the art crayons today. So I'm laying down some scraps with my Uhu glue stick. I've got some scrapbook paper, dictionary paper. Like I said, there's part of a tea bag that kind of crumpled and laid into the, the glue that was there. I think I'm going to put down one more little piece of something. I did pull out this piece of fabric ribbon stuff. I don't even know what it is, but I put it to the side because I was like, oh, I might lose use that later. I do. So... I'm going to get all of this yummy scrap down and then throw some gesso on top of it. So I'm putting it down pretty thick because I want to be able to scratch into it. So I'm, yeah, I've got just a big brush spreading it out all around, trying to do this quickly to keep it wet as well. So once I get it over the whole card, I'm just going to turn my brush upside down and make some shapes. I did start with some messy circles and then just did yeah some lines across and now I'm going to dry this really good y'all this the drying it took forever so I dried that I'm going to trim it down some of the the scraps that are on the back not across the top I decided to keep this the uh, kind of I don't know torn edge across the top and trim down the sides and the bottom all right, and I think I'm going to dry this again because I can st still feel that it's kind of damp. I'm going to start coming in with art crayons. Now, the first one I chose with the, was this kind of mustardy color, and it is a Colorix crayon. I will try to see if I can find something like it on YouTube. It's um, not YouTube. This is YouTube on Amazon. Oh, excuse me, y'all. But it's, it's a really soft, gelato-like crayon. And so I put it down in a couple spots. You saw I use my paintbrush to move it around. And then I'm just using a damp finger to kind of push it a little bit more. And then I start grabbing for my Distress Crayons from Tim Holtz. This first one is Vintage Photo. The Distress Crayons come in sets. So if I link it or when I link it, it'll be probably in a set. But with this one, I didn't wet my finger near as much. They are also very soft and move around quite well. And I thought that might help pick up some more of that texture if I did it without quite as much water. So I did that, and then I went looking for another color and decided on this peeled paint, kind of mossy, greeny, olivey color, and just put it in the couple extra spots that were still white. Yep. There's my art crayon being brought in there, just like that. I'll bring in another one here in a little bit, but that just kind of covered up my background, got that texture, but I wanted some more texture kind of in the background. So I grabbed one of my hand-carved eraser stamps and some Distress Oxide in Rusty Hinge, and I'm going to put down a few, few little stamps on here, like I said, just for some texture, and I start to decide somewhere in here that I needed some black also so I'll grab another one of those hand carved stamps and use black soot to just add a few others 
Now, somewhere in here, I realized that yesterday when I was thinking about different techniques I wanted to do, there was one from Nicole Watson that I really, really loved that I have tried and wanted to do again. And um, because Nicole is a genius and this is so much fun, but I'm taking just some acrylic craft paint. This is, I think it's a neat as acrylic in Hawaii, but I just wanted blue because blue is my jam. But I put a couple marks down there and then I'm gonna take a pretty wet paintbrush and kind of blur that out a little. Like I said, Nicole does this on a lot of her stuff. And like I said, she's an absolute genius. I love this and I hate to be copying her, but I'm just being inspired by her, right, Nicole? <laughs> Hopefully, um, that's how you see it. That's how I see it if y'all take some of the things I do. But I don't know if I have anything that I haven't stolen from somebody else. That's um, kind of the Austin Kleon thing, isn't it? You still like an artist. All right. Sorry, y'all. That's a book. If you haven't read Still Like an Artist, I highly recommend you check it out. So I blurred those, dried this real quick, and then I, I think this is Chipped Sapphire, which is another Distress Crayon, because I wanted some splatters. I wanted some dark splatters on here, and I was thinking I wanted Payne's Gray, but I was like, you know what, I've got this Chipped Sapphire, and I'm going to use it, and it worked perfect. So my fan brush didn't give me the big blobs of splatter I wanted, so I grabbed another paintbrush and did that and got just the splatter I wanted. So I'll go ahead and dry that. Now keep in mind that a lot of these crayons will reactivate if you re-wet them, and so try to be careful with some of that and not get too, too messy so things are blurring everywhere. So it was time to finally bring in some kind of focal. That background had gotten crazy. And so I just need to kind of settle in and, and decide on something. So I grab another Tim Holtz product, which is a little photo booth picture. And this one, I did not like the straight edges on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tear down all of the edges so that they're nice and frayed. And then I'm going to bend this photo up so it's like nice and folded and like it's been stuck in somebody's wallet and, and handled quite a bit. I don't know. Something about that just felt right. And then I need a sentiment. So y'all, these are just typed words that I typed on my computer in a like, oh, what do you got like a spreadsheet program and then made sure that the backgrounds were black and printed it on just photo paper, not photo paper, copy paper, photocopy paper, just copy paper. And so I found the word mighty, which I felt, I don't know, it just, it felt right to me. And I have found that also with this copy paper printout on the black, that if you scrunch it up a little, you also get some kind of some of the worn lines and age to it. So I did that. I'm tearing the edges of it too. I'm going to start laying all of this out a bit. And I think I'm just going to use my Uhu glue stick. I could have used something stronger for both the fabric and that photo booth picture, but whatever. It's, you know, I knew I was trying to keep these iCAD videos as short as possible. I do time myself so that I know when 10 minutes has passed and I try not to go over that. But y'all look, this video is sped up and um, I think it was like 12 minutes is what I know. I'm sorry, Tw over 20 minutes. So 20, like 20, almost 25 minutes. Oh my gosh, this one was really long. <laughs> but I played and I had fun and that's what's important. So I stuck down that little strip of fabric I had found. It took a little while. It was, it wanted to be folded over and I wanted it flat and we fought and I won. So <laughs> for now, anyway. So I'm going to glue all these little elements down to side. I need some more black on here. I've got that, you know, that stark blackness of that sentiment. So I'll grab my handy dandy Stabilo All and just draw lines slightly on the inside of the edges and then activate it with my wet paintbrush. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm like, you know, there's not quite enough white on here either. So I'll grab a Sharpie paint pen in white. It's the water-based one. And pump it a little and splatter. I think this is something I've seen Dee Dee Katrin do before. So, and I didn't get quite as much splatter as I wanted from this, but I let it be and that's probably for the best. 
All right, y'all, this is it for this card. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to do all that below and come back tomorrow and see what else I'm doing. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Bye.